How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in this video I will be doing a reaction to Dionne Warwick's Anyone Who Had a Heart. So if you haven't done so please smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get started. Okay, Dionne Warwick's Anyone Who Had a Heart was recommended to me by Shyfire. I believe that's that's how you, how you say it. Um, so I'm checking it out. It's supposed to be a soul pop song by Burt Bacharach and Hal David. So this should be Good. I'm assuming this is going to be good right off the get-go. Uh, I'm going to read a bunch from Wikipedia. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. Uh, Anyone who had a heart is a song written by Burt Bacharach. He did the music, and Hal David did the lyrics. Uh, I looked at the lyrics. I think this is going to be really good. Um, for Dion Warwick in 1963, in in January 1964, Warwick's original recording hit the top ten top ten in the United States, Canada, Spain, Netherlands, South Africa, Belgium, and Australia. Whole Lee Cow. Oh, Patula Clark did a, a version of this as well. Um, okay, so the original recording. Anyone who had a heart was presented to Dionne Warwick in unfinished form while she, Burt Bacharach, and Hal David were rehearsing in Bacharach's Man uh, Manhattan apartment for an upcoming recording session. Bacharach had finished the score, which, in his words, changed time signatures constantly, 4-4, four, 5-4, four, four, and 7-8, and a 7-8 bar at the end of the song on the turnaround. It wasn't intentional, it was just all natural. That's the way I felt. Okay, so the reason why I mentioned this is that sounds horrible. A 4 4 5 4 and a 7 8 bar all together? That sounds weird. That does not sound good to me at all. So I'm interested to see if I can even recognize it and feel it. Or I maybe may not even be able to. I don't know. I don't think I will. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Uh, where is it? This was the first use of polyrhythm in popular music. However, David had written only about a third of the lyric and was reluctant to finalize the sixth line of the first stanza as, and I know I dream of you. Feeling the stress was unnatural as opposed to, and I know a dream of you. Oh, interesting. Bacharach played a snippet of the tune for Warwick, who was enraptured, and at her urging, David left Warwick to rehearse with Bacharach in the living room, while he, David, retired to a bedroom where he completed the lyrics. Oh. Of the nat unnatural stress in I Dream of You, David later stated, I tried to find a way to make the you do something and I could never do it. I had to let it go. Uh, yeah, I'm interested in this now. I'm super interested in this, you know? So that 445478, we'll see how that rolls out, right? Anyone who ever loved could look at me and know that I love you. Anyone who ever dreamed could look at me and know I dream of you. Knowing I love you so. Anyone who had a heart would take me in his arms and love me too. You couldn't really have a heart and hurt me like you. Take you back without you, I die, dear. No.
gosh, I, I couldn't find it. Um, is it is it that that last piece near the end that that it, it goes and then it repeats twice, right? Is that it? The four, four, five, four, seven, eight. Like I kind of felt like I mean he was playing with triplets the whole time, the whole piece. So I was kind of trying to. I thought maybe that that beginning piece, like throughout the whole thing, it's it's a four, four, five, four, seven, eight. But I couldn't really feel it, and I feel very ashamed of myself because I had a percussion teacher. And he would absolutely, hopefully he's not watching any of this, he would absolutely be angry at me if I didn't find it. Um, gosh, can't find it. Um, things I'd like to mention, though, uh, it's a good song. Not my favorite song, though, to be honest. Uh, definitely like a lot of other Dion Warwick songs over that, so I'll, that's all I'll say for that. Uh, number two, I don't know if that was a tenor sax playing low or a barry sax, but I really actually like that that solo. Uh, that, that lower register really keeps it very nice contrast there. And number three, of course, is that that four four five four seven eight which i couldn't find uh tell me what you guys think about it where where is it exactly i didn't look at the the sheet music or anything like that but uh if it is that near the end that's a very interesting use of it you know that or whatever it is i can't remember off the top of my head um but that's a very epic sounding use of a change of keys key signatures in my opinion so uh, that being said thank you very much for watching if you haven't done so please smash the like button, uh, turn notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Anyone who ever dreamed could look at me and know I dream of you. Knowing I love you so. Goodbye.